Hey, we're Emily and Danny, and we've been traveling by van for four years with our cat Graham and our dog Sombrita. We're back on the road this week and heading up to the ski mountains a couple hours away from Santiago. We got all these groceries because we're gonna go on a good old fashioned van adventure. Man, I'm so happy to have the van up here. Yeah, it's really nice to be able to change in the van before you go ski. You don't have to be in the cold. And yeah. it's just awesome to be up at a ski mountain with the van, but actually gonna spend the night. We've been just easing back into the van. Mm -hmm. We're going to La Parva today. So there's three ski resorts up here above Santiago and one that's like a family learning one, I don't count. So this is gonna be the last of the three ski resorts above Santiago for us that we haven't checked out here. La Parva, supposed to be a bit fancier. Honestly, it always depends on how your snow is because if you don't have good snow, it could not be the mountain's fault. It could just be that there's, you know, no snow. The amount of people is always a big factor. And also like how fast the lifts are, how much it costs, stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see which one we like the most. Our friends, we gave them a ride up here. They came down here, flew down at the age of 24 to buy a van in Chile, go around two months, sell it, go to New Zealand, ski there with a new van. And these are really cool folks because uh, they're all about skiing, but they actually had her passport stolen. So she just was at the embassy getting the new one. We picked him up to bring him back up here where they've been staying. She ran a ski team at USC and the guy, he's a ski patrol from Mammoth. So, so they both, know what they're doing. Yeah, they're both really, really, really good. Crazy stuff, epic. But we're planning to spend a few days up here at the mountains with the van. <laughs> All right, I know you guys wanted to see this as much as I do. Let's see this beach dog playing some snow. Bowers! <laughs> wow, que es eso? <laughs> okay, Sombrita, here's a valuable lesson you need to learn not to eat the yellow snow. You can eat the white snow. <laughs> This feels like a dream after being in the States in the middle of summer. What is going on right now? You been, Graham? Huh? Oh, I missed you too. Muy bien, baby. Oh, que bien. Oh, she's so happy.
Hola. Oh my gosh. Wow, first morning back in the van in months for me. And this is so comfy in here. <laughs> the heater on all night. And look at this amazing spread Emily has made for our first brekkie in the van. Two days in a row up here at the mountain, thanks to the van. And Emily made that epic breakfast, but she actually like hit a little rock yesterday. So Emily's taking the day off. This is really cool to see all of La Parva. I haven't seen this part yet, and it looks so epic with just huge cliffs off to the side. But honestly, a lot of this is kind of barren. There's thin snow. This is where the wind blown part is, but this is also where there's some huge jumps right here. Look at these things. It's just beautiful up here. Get to spend all this time in the mountains and not need to worry about buying a $300 a night hotel room. <laughs> Last night we ended up having those van people over in our van after we all went to the bar. And But we do have some news. I just heard my parents are gonna come visit. Good times up here at the mountain. Oh no, I just found the epic powder stash here. And the guy says I'm actually at a different ski resort. <laughs> he let me go up, nice guy. But he said, this is the last time. If you come over here to Valle Nevada without a ticket again, I'm gonna have to send you down to the main lodge to get the ticket. <laughs> It's really cool how these are basically interconnected here. Apparently a while ago they had a ticket where you could ski all three for the price of one or some kind of a price. And they got away with it. Uh, I don't know why they did away with it because these are connected so well. And I think these mountains are also kind of getting hit hard by climate change. So maybe one day they'll all just become one resort. Who knows, but uh, really epic up here. And didn't even know this whole back valley area is Valle Nevada. So if you want to know what it's like to ski down here in Chile, um, you know, we've only had experience around the Santiago area, but I have noticed some differences. Basically, there's not really the powder hounds you see in the US. If you're at Jackson Hole, you know, Snowbird, those awesome resorts, all the powder is going to get tracked out pretty quick. Whereas look right here underneath, there is plenty of powder left to be tracked up here. But the difference up here, these mountains in, in the north part of Chile, these are the first mountains as you're going south. So yeah, if you go south past Big Bear, California, this is basically the first ski area here. And because of that, you do have to be a little more careful with rocks. You know, you can get your skis a little splashed on the bottom. Not having as many powder hounds is the biggest difference and makes me very happy. <laughs> I think right now I'm gonna try this little hike Obviously I'm alone, you know, so you gotta be safe and whatnot. But uh, it looks like there's a traverse I can do up here. I might have to push a bit. So I think I can cut along that top groove there and then cut down and I'll have a whole field of powder to myself. Let's check this out. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. I might just pop off the skis and have a bit of a hike. The urge to climb everything. That right there is why I do things like this. <laughs> Looks pretty nice.
for our last ski day up here, we're heading over to Valle Nevado. Without snow this week, it's looking like a groomer day. You just give me a... <laughs> you love it? <laughs> Such an awesome day up here at the mountain. And I made us a sushi bowl with rice and a bunch of veggies. Perfect. We're just so happy to be a part of this community that whenever you get on a chairlift, you always have something to talk to someone about because you're probably living like one of the best days of your year. One of my favorite parts of this trip has been able to see our Baja puppy play in the snow. This is the first time she's actually been in snow that could, that was deep enough to touch her chest while she was running through it. And oh my gosh, she absolutely loved it. Catching all the snowballs that we were trying to throw towards her or getting her to run towards snowballs. So I did like both of the mountains, but La Parva did have a good amount of rocks, which I accidentally hurt myself on. <laughs> but it seemed at Valle Nevado there was less rocks, a little bit more space, so that was fun that we get to check that out. After I got hurt, I really just had a couple of ibuprofen and I didn't ski one day, which was fine. It wasn't that big of a deal. And I felt a lot better today and I can, I feel, like I can actually move around today a lot more. We had every type of van sitting out there in La Parva. We had a Sprinter first and an Iveco, and then our Dodge Ram Pro Master. <laughs> it's just really cool to see um, young people out here living their dreams while they still can hit the mountain on a Wednesday with a whole bunch of other people. <laughs> so we had our heater going every night and it was super comfortable in here. We really, we didn't, we weren't afraid of the water freezing, somebody threw our gram being cold. We were at 9,000 feet and it wasn't as efficient. So it did shut off last night around 5 a.m., which isn't that big of a deal. It was already pretty warm in here by the time it shut off. But that does mean that we have to go underneath the van again and clean out the carbon. So here in Santiago, unfortunately, there is a bit of smog which means that the solar panels were not, were not pulling in enough solar for the batteries to stay charged. So we did over discharge our batteries for the first time in four years, which is pretty amazing. Our batteries were working so well and now they don't really hold as much of a charge. But anyway, the batteries are working well enough to keep on our mission south. Thanks so much for joining us here in the mountains. If you like this video, be sure to share and subscribe. If you want to support us a little bit more, head over to our Patreon. We'll see you guys next time.